Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's quick episode, let's work on sketches. In this episode, how would you sketch this object? Take some time to pause the video, try to sketch it on your own, and then resume the video to see how I did it. Now that you've made your attempt, let's go ahead and try and see how you did. Because this is a simple exercise, we won't need to worry about making components because we're only gonna be working with sketches. So let's select the top view, create a sketch on the visible plane, and let's get started. First things first, let's go ahead and create the outer circle. We're gonna make it a construction circle. And as we can see, the dimensions are 146 in diameter. And let's create the subsequent circles. We've got two more circles in the center. One's 40 millimeters in diameter and the other is 28 millimeters in diameter. Let's create a line for construction. And this is gonna give us the guide for us to make the triangles in the center with the pointy edges. We're gonna keep the line command. We want the line at the very top of the center line to be 15 degrees off. We can hit the tab key, type in 15, make sure it touches the edge and it's locked into place. And we can do the same thing here. But let's go ahead and measure it. 15 degrees. Or what you can do is just simply just left click on the other dimension and it'll lock it into place. Using the line command again, turn off construction. Actually, let's go ahead and use the three point arc. We'll go from this edge to this edge of those two lines. Let's add a dimension. And we know that this arc is gonna be 36 millimeters. Now, it's still not fully defined, but to do that, let's take this point, which is the center of this arc, and lock it into place in the center. To do that, let's use the coincident constraint. Select this point here, and that point there, and it's locked into place and fully defined. It's not gonna move around. And let's continue the pattern. Select the line command. From this point to this edge here, let's verify once again, we don't have more than one line here. Let's take the line command and it should lock into place and become fully defined. If not, then more than likely you have an issue where there's another line there that's actually being moved, like this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this line. And I got this line in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and remeasure those other two to lock them into place. Select this line and this line here. and you're set. And let's go ahead and continue to profile. Select this point here, lock it into place there. That's fully defined. Just point to that point there. I'm gonna take this point to this point and make sure it's attached here. This point to this point makes it also attached. And now we got the basic profile. We're gonna use a circular pattern command. And we can see it's gonna be six objects we're going to duplicate around the center axis. Center point is going to be the center point here. And I want the quantity to be six. And it's set. And that completes this quick exercise. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick repetition. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.